Hey guys, it's time for Stump the Chump. As a reminder, this is the series where you guys send me positions. I have five minutes to figure out the best move. If I can't find the best move, or at least extremely close to it, so a move within two points of the best move, according to Stockfish's evaluation, if I can't find that, then you have Stumped the Chump. Of course, feel free to follow along at home. You can pause the video right when I throw up the position, take five minutes, and then compare your thought process to mine if you want, or you can just sit back and enjoy me solve it, or potentially fail. Uh, let's go find some positions. All right, first position is from Meherzan. Probably pronouncing that really badly, but uh, let's start the timer. Here we go, black to play. Okay, so this looks scary, although we do have it defended enough. Oh, there's two pawns. That's a problem, okay. And we can't really move these, or then this does become a problem, I believe. We can't take that or we get checkmated. Uh, interesting position. Wow. Okay. So let me just verify, but I'm fairly certain we can move our king. Still looks really bad. Yeah. Then we're getting mated. Okay. So we can't take that. Um, taking here. I don't think that makes sense. Although we could do this. I wonder if we play, let's see, queen b7 trying to trade queens, but then there's c6 which looks like it's a problem. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like this is kind of the big threat. White's just gonna push the pawns and destroy us. So what do we even play here? We could bring this rook back because then we cover the checkmate, so we're threatening to take the bishop. And it also sort of can help stop the pawns. So rook here is an idea. And if I take, 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 c6, what am I going to do at that point? Are there any other ideas? All right, I like this move. I'm thinking rook b8 looks pretty good because then we're... We're threatening to do this. Although, takes, takes, if we do a big trade, I'm just now thinking, we're gonna lose, right? Two pawns on the six beats a rook. Although, our king is pretty close in that case. We can play king here, here, rook over, no, we lose. We will lose, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> So how else do we stop these pawns? Maybe we do have to sack this. Let's see, takes, takes. We take here. If this... The problem is we, we still have a problem. Even if we sack the rook, we still have a problem, right? So... What do we do? What else can we do? What if I go here, c6? No, that makes no sense. Uh, hmm. Don't have time to do anything here. These pawns are going to be faster, I believe. Rough position. This is very rough. We have time to push this? To do this? I don't think so. So let's say here and then the big trade and we lose. Hmm. That's kind of the problem with any move, right? Like this big trade. And then we just lose to the two pawns. So. <clears throat> I have one minute to make a move. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Rook here. Take six, six. 
there's like not time to do that because the king can just run away, right? Rook here, c6. No, take, 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 then c6, then we go here. No. I have no idea. Like, I don't even, I don't even see a good move. Like, if I'm playing this in a tournament and I have to make a move, I'm, what am I playing? I don't even know. I don't even know. Rook takes c2. I don't know. We'll say rook takes c2. Thank you. Thank you for that. I, I'm like pretty sure this is not the move. I just don't see anything. Really tough position. Um, yeah, let's turn on Stockfish and see what's going on. And Stockfish says Rook B1 and hey, Rook takes C2. Hey, hey, I got the second move. I'm impressed. Rook to B1. Yeah, I did sort of consider that, but I guess I didn't really see the follow up. Bishop takes h6 now, okay, because there's no more mate. All right, I get that. But then what about like c6? What do we do now? Rook f8. There's so many moves that lead to a draw. This is funny. Rook f8. How is this a draw? c7. e4 is a draw? What is the deal with e4? How is e4 even doing anything? e4. Oh, because they can't play d7 right away. So you block off the queen. Okay. Queen g3. Queen d4. Oh, there's so many moves. f4. Queen d4. All right. Hold on. Let's, let's back up a second. I'm still not sure I understand what's going on in this position. So if they don't take the rook and just like push this, you just take. Yeah, you're just trading. And then, nope, you're not taking there. What happens if you take this? I'm just, I'm just curious. You lose. Okay, you lose because of the pawns. Oh, wow. So you, you take it, and then you play queen a6, because that's a move that I would totally consider playing. Queen a6, like, what's the point? You're attacking this. So if the pawn pushes, you're stopping it from here. Okay, and what if this pawn? Oh, you're threatening, I see. Wow. Uh, what a crazy position. All right, so rook, rook to b1. I think I need to change the rules to like only positions that come out of actual games because I feel like these positions are like composed or something. All right, let's see what's happening with rook takes c2. So the line I think that I was afraid of, what was I afraid of? This? And then just like pushing the pawns. Yeah, c6. What do we do here? Queen a8. Pinning this one. And if they try... Oh, if they try to do this, we can take it. That's interesting. That's a cool idea. Okay, queen a8. And white has no good moves here? Rook d1 is the best move? And then you can go bishop e3 and you're going to block off this. If What about this now? Bishop to b6. Ah, you come back with a bishop. Okay. And you they still can't do this because it's pinned. Wow, and the king is basically stuck over there. Oh, all right. So there was a lot going on in this position. Um, but basically, there's like some clever ways to stop the pawns, which I didn't think about. So like pinning that one is one way because, you know, then your rook can take on d7. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then this one, I'm still, I'm still like trying to figure out what was the idea here again? You just bring the rook back and then queen c5 stops them. And then if this again, queen c5, so just kind of using the rook and the queen. Huh? Okay. Wow. That was tough. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that because I was really confused. Uh, let's go and find another position. All right, next position is from Sebastian. Let's reset the timer. Start the timer. Uh, Blacks just played F takes four. Okay. Uh, wow. What is happening here? One, two, three, four. One, three, four. We're up a rook. Okay, we're up the rook in the corner that we took here. But Black has some annoying pawns. All right. Um, 
I mean, I guess my instinct is like, let's just trade some pieces. So probably just take the bishop. Is anything bad going to happen if I do that? This or this, I think. Let's say the pawn takes. Do I have to be concerned about that? Oh, we also have this bishop. I'm just noticing that. We could throw in a check, force the king over, bring the knight back with check. The king can come up. Oh, no, the king can't come up. There's a bishop there. Okay, hold on a second. Bishop g5, check. Uh, let's see. King has to move there. Then we could take this with check. King has to move here. And we can do what knight can come back if we need the knight to come back. I don't know. All right. So basically we get the knight for free with check and we develop our bishop and then we can probably take this. So bishop g5 looks like a good move. Uh, yeah, followed by here and take this. I don't think there's any way that that's not the move because unless I'm missing something. Yeah, that's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. So uh, I'm going to go with bishop h6. Bishop, I mean, I mean, sorry, bishop g5. <laughs> Not bishop h6. Bishop g5, then knight c7, then bishop h6. And then we can probably just take this at the end of all that. All right, let's stop. Feeling pretty good about this one. All right, and Stockfish says, hey, bishop g5 check. How about that? Bishop g5, king e8, knight c7, king f8, only move. Bishop takes h6, e7, and then knight takes f2. How about that? Cool. And yeah, we're just completely winning. So cool. That was a nice position. That was a clever, clever little maneuver there to force the king over and then take the knight with check. I like that. Thanks, Sebastian. Let's go find another position. All right, next position is from Joe. Let's reset the timer. Start the timer. And it's white to play. Okay, so we have queen f8. Um... Three pieces, two rooks, so we're down a piece, but we have a nice attack. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right. Um, hmm. So, I mean, we could also, we can always just take this. And then we have a rook for two pieces, which I don't like. The issue with this is that the knight's going to move somewhere and we're going to have to do something with our queen. Okay, what if I play knight here? Because then if the... Ah, okay, here we go, here we go. If we play knight here and the knight moves somewhere, we can then play knight f6 because this is pinned, so it can't take our knight, which forces the king over. Then we could take here, and it's not defended. Now there is, let's see, knight here would defend that. So let's say knight e4, knight e5, which attacks our queen. So we can't just, like, take knight... We could go with the check. The king goes over. We take it with check. And then the knight or the queen could take. If the queen takes... Uh, I guess we can just... Hmm. <laughs> if we trade, the knight's going to go back, right? And then what? what's the, the deal? Our knight's sitting here. We still have the two pieces for the rook. Is that right? Rook, knight, rook, yeah, the two pieces. Hmm. So how do we make that work? Knight here, 95. Oh, oh, okay. At 95, we just take it with the queen. Because then we get out of the bishop and we take the knight. Okay, that's the idea. So 94. And if the knight moves anywhere else, like let's say knight b6 or knight c5 or knight f6. You can't go knight f6. So yeah, anywhere else, like knight b6. Then we go check. King goes over. We take here. All right. So it's knight c to e4. Um, fairly certain. I'm fairly certain. I don't know if it makes sense actually to take this. King takes. That looks interesting too, because then you have the idea of pushing this, but no, I think it's got to be knight c to e4. I think this just looks more forcing. So, uh, yeah, I'll say knight c to e4. Stop the timer. Let's turn on stockfish. And Stockfish says, hey, knight c to e4. How about that? And let's just check if I'm correct on knight e5. Yeah, we just take it with the queen. And then if the knight goes somewhere else, 
say over to b6. Oh, it's mate and four. Oh yeah, because after that you just have mate, I see. I see, you have like two different, three different mate threats. Four different mate threats. Nice, nice position, I like that one. I like these that are like kind of fun and they're not like, you know, mind-bogglingly complicated for five minutes and I can actually solve them. So thank you, Joe, for a somewhat normal of a position. <laughs> Let's find one more. All right, next position is from Wilfred. Let's reset the timer, start the timer. It's black to play. And what is going on here? Two rooks, a queen, and a bishop. So we're down some material. White's queen looks kind of trapped. Like bishop e7. Looks like it traps the queen. Let's see. What happens after bishop e7? Where's the queen going to go? Oh, here. We can go here. Uh, I see. And if we take this, then our rook is hanging. I see. Okay. And if we go somewhere like this... Again, our rook is hanging. All right, so here, queen g7, we can take that. No, that doesn't look very good. Um, hmm. Interesting. What else can we play? I don't know. I don't know what else would be a good move. There is this. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's say we play knight g4. Idea is to take this or to take the bishop with the knight. Because if we take this way, we lose the rook. But if we took it with the knight, we would just kind of keep all our pieces. All right, so maybe knight g4 is an idea. What happens on bishop e3, though? What happens on bishop e3? We could do bishop e7 then, but the queen's not trapped anymore. It can go away because our knight's not blocking it. So knight g4, bishop e3, I don't know. Like if we just take it, the pawn or the rook just takes, and I don't think we really have much. Bishop c5, sacrificing the rook. No, that doesn't look good because there's going to be this move. Almost a good move. I just don't think it's quite good enough. Could we do something crazy like bishop c5, sack the rook, and then sack the bishop? If the king takes, we get a nice double check. No, there's not anything though. Nothing to follow up with that. Wow. Okay. Uh, rough position. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, I guess at least we trade off that bishop. I feel like this is a losing position for black. I don't think... I'm not seeing anything, at least. Like, what could be an idea? I, I don't even know. And if we do this, takes, takes. No, nope, I don't like that. Nope, there's no discovered checks. I was trying to think if there's some sort of weird discovered check with the knight. I don't see anything. I mean, I kind of feel like, okay, knight g4, just to get rid of the bishop, is... an idea, maybe. And after we trade that, we just, like, move our bishop, the queen goes somewhere, and we try to hold on. I, I don't really see much other than that. So I'm either completely missing some idea, or... It's just uh, not a good position for black. I don't really see anything else. I guess I'm going to say knight g4. And... Yeah, well, I'll, I'll say knight g4. I don't really know. Let's stop and see what Stockfish says. All right, and Stockfish says rook to b8. 
Rook to, rook to b8. Rook to b8. What kind of a move is this? What's the point? What's the point? I'm going to click this button over here, this little red one. See that? Okay, so the threat is to take that. So you're defending the rook with your king to make this threat. And if the bishop just moves, actually the only move for the bishop. So what if something like bishop e3? Then you go here and the queen is now trapped. So the only move is bishop to f4. You have to play bishop d6 anyway. It's still trapped, but you get a kind of an equal position after bishop takes d6. Rook takes h8. Oh, rook e7 check. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, now that Stockfish explained it to me, it makes sense. You, you're going to defend the rook. And you want to keep all these pieces so that the queen stays trapped. That's the only way to do it. I was just thinking bishop e7 was the only way, but this is another way. And let's just see, just for kicks, what's the deal with rook c8? Because that kind of does the same thing. No, it doesn't. Why is that different? Bishop g5. So hold on a second. If I play rook b8 and bishop g5, the move is bishop to g7. And this happens. Okay, so what happens on rook c8 and bishop g7? Now I get mated. Rook a7 check. Ah, this is the idea. Now the queen's coming over and I'm just toast. Wow. So on king b8, I mean, I'm sorry, on rook b8, if white does the same thing, and plays here check. Well, now when I take it, my rook's defended as opposed to rook being on c8. Okay, wow. Interesting stuff. All right, so rook b8 is the only move. And let's just see how bad was my knight g4 move. How bad was it? Bishop takes f8 was the idea. So it allows me to do this because I don't really have a threat. And if I just take this, I'm probably getting mated somehow. With, yeah, the queen's just coming out and there's there's just no good threat for me. Interesting. Okay, that was pretty. That was a pretty clever one. I, I gotta admit, rook b8 was a nice idea. Nice idea. All right, nice position, Wilfred. You stumped the jump. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these positions and uh, had fun. I know I did, and I'll see you next time. By the way, a lot of people always ask it where they can submit these positions. You can just send it to my email, chessvibesyt at gmail dot com. Uh, I do have a backlog. I have like ninety something positions, and I only go through a couple each episode, so it's going to take me a while. But you're welcome to send them there. Just put Stump the Chump in the title, uh, and eventually I'll get to those positions. Anyway, thank you guys, and uh, stay sharp, play smart, take care.